measuring angles. Eva and Zoe are going to ride their bikes on Sunday. But since they have not used them in a long time, they are going to a bike shop for a tune-up. Inside the shop, they see a display full of decorations for their wheels. They decide to try some and start to decorate their wheels. First, they take the front wheel off of Zoe's bike and decorate one of the spokes. Then, they put a second decoration on another spoke that forms a right angle with the first. But Zoe does not know how to measure this angle. We measure angles in degrees. The symbol that represents degrees is a small raised circle that follows the number. For example, we write them as 1 degree, 2 degrees, 37 degrees. The tool used to measure angles is a protractor. Eva is going to show Zoe how to measure angles with the protractor. On the curved edge, there are marks. Each one corresponds to a degree. With this type of protractor, you can measure angles from 0 to 180 degrees. You can use it following the opposite direction of the hands on a clock, counterclockwise, or in the same direction as the hands on a clock, clockwise. To be able to measure the first angle, we need to have its vertex coincide with this point on the protractor and then one of its sides on the horizontal axis of the protractor. For example, we are going to measure this angle counterclockwise. If we orient one side with this zero, the other side indicates the number of degrees the angle has. In this case, we need to use the outer scale. What is the measurement of the alpha angle? The alpha angle measures, let's count, let's check it out, from 0 all the way to 150. That's it! The alpha angle measures 150 degrees. We can also measure it clockwise. Now we have to orientate one side with the 0. And use the inner scale. As you can see, the angle measures the same. The direction is not important because it is the same angle. Now you try. Measure the right angle formed by the decorations on Zoe's wheel. What is the angle's measurement? Okay, let's try. Let's grab the protractor. We have to make sure that it is aligned in the vertex. Let's turn it so it aligns horizontally. All right, and reading it counterclockwise, we can see that it reads 90 degrees. Exactly! A right angle measures 90 degrees. We now know how much a right angle measures. What are the limits of measurement for an acute angle? So for an acute angle, I'd say it's between 0 and 90 degrees. Exactly! A right angle with its perpendicular sides measures 90 degrees. Any angle that measures more than zero and less than 90 degrees is acute. Now it's Eva's turn. They take off the front wheel of her bike and decorate two spokes to form a straight angle. Measure the angle they have made. What is the angle's measurement? Let's take our protractor again and make sure we align the vertex in the middle and let's go turn it all the way. And let's see. So if we check it out, it goes all the way to 180 degrees. Perfect! A straight angle measures 180 degrees. Knowing the measurement of a straight angle, what are the limits of measurement for an obtuse angle? Hmm. So for an obtuse angle, I would think it would be between 90 and 180 degrees. Let's check it out. That's it! A straight angle measures 180 degrees. 
Any angle that measures more than 90 and less than 180 degrees is obtuse. Therefore, acute, right, and obtuse angles are also convex. What are the limits of measurement for a convex angle? So for a convex angle, I'd say it's between 0 and 180 degrees. Yep, it's this one. Excellent! Any angle that measures more than 0 and less than 180 degrees is also a convex angle. Eva and Zoe want to decorate their back wheels so that they are the same. They decorate one of the spokes to mark a beginning and end of a complete angle. To help measure the complete angle, we are going to use a special tool, a protractor that can measure an angle from inside the circumference. What is the measurement of this complete angle? Okay, let's grab our special pro protractor and measure the full angle. So we start from here all the way around and that gives us a full 360 degrees. Excellent! A complete angle measures 360 degrees. The arc degree, which we use to measure angles, the sexagesimal system, which we use to measure angles, is made by dividing the circumference into 360 equal parts. Each one of these parts is a degree. Now we know the measurement of a complete angle. What are the limits of measurement for a reflex angle? For a reflex angle, I think it would be between 180 and 360 degrees. I'm not entirely sure, but let's try this one. Excellent! A complete angle measures 360 degrees. Any angle that measures more than 180 and less than 360 degrees is reflex. Eva and Zoe are going to continue decorating their wheels while waiting for the mechanic to finish tuning up their bikes. You have learned how to measure angles with the girls, and now you know the measurements of the most important ones. Now, keep practicing!